get more leads. To generate more leads? Mm -hmm. and, and what, what's occurring right now with the public wire? I don't even, I don't know if I got even any calls from, oh. and I've probably put up at least about 10. Okay, all right, now, so just check, because I don't have the public flyer in front of me. Mm -hmm. You've, have you executed the actual look of the did flyer? You, yeah, did yeah. you put them up? Like, where did you, you didn't put like, to in your locker at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> um, I put them up in coffee shops, sub shops, uh, grocery stores. Grocery stores, sub shops. Where? Coffee shops. Coffee shops. Um, gas stations even let me put them up. Okay. Is that it? You, is there five more? Um, I probably could have done, you know, a few different gas stations and a couple sub shops. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I think there's some room for. Yeah. Coach well, you know, part of the thing, what, what does your public notice flyer say? If it's you, just strictly from the website. Okay. So what, have you got a specific target market that you're attracting? Um, yeah, it depends on the neighborhood that they were in. But no, the flyer that went in the coffee shop, what's the target market you have going oh, did you do 10 different flyers? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or I did select, okay. 10 different so, flyers. Okay. The thing about the public notice flyers is that it's about getting a bunch of them out there, right? Mm -hmm. Like when you've got, um, there's probably 50 locations that you can put a uh, public notice flyer as opposed to just 10. Um, and what you want to look for is what is the, you know, the popular price range in that area where you're, um, where you're trying to attract them. Now, have you, did you choose a very narrow, market or a very broad? I did um, 200 to 350,000, which was my sweet spot in my area. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. So that, now, but of the 10, how many of them were that versus, did you say you did more than one? Like you've got more than one um, target market? They would, um, there was a couple, you know, different price ranges that I did. One was 200 to 300,000, the other one was 200 to 350, so it was pretty similar. Okay, so they're both in yeah. there. And the, if you were to say, like, if we were to put them side by side, um, and we were to look to see which one was the one from the uh, website and which one is yours, would there be any different? Would we be able to tell? The difference between them. Just okay, the so price. you did exactly mm -hmm. that. So the price range and the pictures. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, and so with your the two things that you can do for this. Number one is to put more of them up. Like, did you uh, when you look at the um, uh, all the grocery stores, all the convenience, so just the same kind of locations that you did, but more of them. Are there apartment complexes in that area that have super mailboxes where you can go to put them? Mm, that's a good question, but okay. I don't think they would stay there long. Well, that's okay. They cost you five cents, so yeah. it doesn't matter. It's not about putting it somewhere where it's going to stay forever. It's about putting it somewhere where it's going to be effectively seen by the right people kind of thing. So if you could um, put it, if you can put it at the, uh, you know, mailbox or wherever everybody from this apartment complex goes, mm -hmm. that would be a good uh, that would be a good place for it. Um, if you could put them, um, you know, at the library, at churches, at uh, any number of places that you can think of. If you just you know think, walk mentally through your um, you know through the neighborhoods where you are. There's probably at least 50 places that you. Put these flyers so more is better for this and it's like kind of scoping out um little vending machine locations you know if you had gumball machines kind of thing you put them you scout out the locations and then it's just a matter of going back to replenish them and don't be afraid if they get taken that's that's fine you know so it's if you can do it like that if you've got friends or um people that you know that work at different places, they could put them up in the lunch room at their office. If you've got nurse friends, they could put it up at the hospital, or teacher friends could put it in the teacher's lounge. You want to look at it as a, you know, you want to really try on this. It's not just, you know, putting up a few, but putting, using that strategy going all out. It's like, all always, it's like always having with you 50, <laughs> you know, just always in your car with you, and you go, oh, there's a location. Oh, there's a location. It's not, I'm going to try this campaign today. 
You know, it's like you're, a, you're taking this on as a lead generating system that's mm -hmm. always going to be available. I, I saw one of the neatest ones in a Holiday Inn off of uh, Tamarack, mm -hmm. where somebody went and put one on all the exit doors in the hotel. Oh, wow. And I thought, wow, that is pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. you know, if people are staying in the hotel, that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And I would really encourage you too is how, how big is your client base in your after unit? There is 267. Write a really good letter that would say here is a notice that you can put up at work or you can put up at your church or you can put up at your place of employment. And, and this would make available to all the people that you know about government financing when homes are available and close inside letter, would you please take this and put it up and you know and see if you can invite other people to post it for you, not just you posting it. Mm -hmm. So start to think who could post it for me, not just where can I post it. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. And uh, the other thing that you can do is put your have you got your my web leads set up? Mm -hmm. So you can put your my web leads um, email or a website address on there too. So people have a choice of going to the website or calling the 800 number, you know, okay. calling the toll free number. Now when you said that you put out 10 and you've had no calls, does that mean, have you had nobody's called and listened to your message or nobody's called through to you? Um, if there were people that called and listened, it was very few. Okay, well that, I mean, you wouldn't expect a ton from 10 so do you, I mean, if you had, if it were, what if it was one from each of those? Could it have been 10 or could it have been? No, it would have been less maybe, than that. you know, one or two or three. In fact, yeah. as we're sitting up here, I remember when I started doing it, I was so excited. And I couldn't find a whole lot of places to uh, put them. But I went up and I just plastered all the uh, bus, the little uh, coverings, you know, where people can stand it. Yeah. Stay out of the wind for the buses, and I put People them on People are taking buses phones. are good prospects, too. Yeah, and then <laughs> the bus company. I'm <laughs> feeling <laughs> kind of sense to me. I'm on a bus almost every day. <laughs> but I think the bus the company went around and, and took them down right away. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I think this did help, though. Yeah, and ATMs. You know, all these things like you want, and, and yeah. the other thing is, don't depend too much on one strategy. Like getting using the public notice flyers is part of a bigger context called let's get leads in our before unit. So you know, are you doing the other things like the uh, the yellow signs and the lead generating cards and you know all of that to try and really you know get awareness, get people to to call. Yeah. It's an all out assault on the market. It's not a blitz. Yeah, it's a lead blitz. You're just constantly looking to see how many things could I get. I heard of 